For part B of this problem, we want to first of all draw the net. So what I've done here is I've broken down the net. So the blue uh, rectangular kind of C-shaped is going to be the front face and the back face. The black rectangle in between is going to be the bottom and I've kind of shaded the, the green side. The red's going to represent the top surfaces and the yellow represents the surface inside the U part. So then we're going to calculate the different uh, the areas of each of these parts. Okay, so we're going to first start with the base. The base is going to be 10 by 3, so that's going to be 30 centimeters squared here. In the front, the blue face, we're going to end up, we can break this up into a few different ways. So one way we're going to do this is I can just break this up into a rectangle. And that's a length of 10. That's going to give us a height of 4. So this height here is going to be 4 centimeters. So we know we have 40 centimeters squared. And then the, this portion of is symmetrical on both sides. And it's going to be 3 wide and 4 high. So we, we get the 3 by taking the length of 10, subtracting 4, so we know that this edge length is 3 centimeters along both sides. So that length here along that edge is going to be 3 centimeters. So then that makes those red area parts, they're going to be, uh, sorry, there's going to be the blue area parts is going to be 12 by, or so 4 by 3. So we have 12 and 12. So if I just kind of sketch this in, this is 12 here, 12 here, it's going to be 40 here. So that whole area, when I add it all up, is going to be 60. Okay, so I'm just going to, sorry, 64. So I'm going to write it in as 64. So that surface here is going to be 64 centimeters. Centimeters squared. So 64, this is going to be 64 as well. So when I look at the other parts here, the side surface is going to be 3 by 8. So that's going to give us 24 here, 24 here. That red surface is going to be the top. It's going to be a 3 centimeters across and 4 centimeters. So that's going to be 12 centimeters on both of those. And those yellow surfaces, they're going to be 3 centimeters wide. Oh, sorry, that's not going to be 12. These are going to be 3 by 3, so those are going to end up being 9. Okay, so that's going to be 9 centimeters squared here and here. Okay, so we have 3 along the back and 3 thickness, so that's going to be 9 for both of those. For the, the inside U part, it's going to be 3 by 4, so 3 thick, 4 high, so this is going to be 12 and 12. And the bottom of that U is going to be 12 as well. So when we sum this all up, I'm going to start with my 12. So I have 3 times 12, or 36. For the red areas, if I add that all up, I'm going to end up with 18. For the green areas, if I add that all up, I get 48. For the black area, I get 30. For the blue areas, I get 128. And adding that all up, that area works out to be 260 centimeters squared, represents the surface area. So there's my surface area, it equals 260 centimeters squared. Now for the volume, volume is going to be calculated by Thick, the area of the sur uh, area of the cross section times thickness, okay, so, or area times thickness. So I'm going to take the the blue area because I know that every slice is going to be have the same cross sectional area. So I know that 64 centimeters squared, and then I have my thickness is going to be three centimeters. So then the volume works out to be 192 centimeters cubed. And again, I'm using the area times thickness to work out the volume. Okay, so there's my volume answer. 
and there's my surface area answer.